The Suns remain red hot. We have some Boogie Cousins news and much more, but we start with the game that kept me up way past my bedtime. The Wizards and Lakers went to overtime and Bradley Beal took over. Little step in the lane right there. He hit a crazy reverse. Look where he jumped from. Jalen, what do you think about these Wizards all of a sudden? Representing the Lou to the fullest. Big shout to Bradley Beal leading the league and scoring and doing it in all facets. You saw him do it from three. You saw him doing an amazing reverse. And in, the most important thing is you saw him do it in an overtime. And I appreciate his demeanor this entire season as he's navigated the team's turbulence. And all of a sudden now Russ has gotten back healthy because I remember watching an interview of Russ earlier in the season, Jacoby, where he was talking about basically feeling like he's playing on one leg. And so now all of a sudden, they have their dynamic backcourt in tow. In these last five games, they have been giving teams the flux off the dribble. Absolutely. In these last five games, they've played really well. And a lot of it has to do with that man right there, Russell Westbrook. You look at that. Two of 14 with Westbrook before this win streak. And now they've had five in a row with Westbrook. It did not hurt that the Lakers could not keep them out of the paint. They had 66 paint points. But Jalen, there's something going on, especially with this fourth overtime game for the Lakers. LeBron James is third in the NBA in minutes played. Coming into the season with the short offseason, I was thinking, you know what? There'd be some load management. He was going to take it easy, focus on a playoff run. Not the case. How much concern is it that he's taking on so much load early in the season? So much of a concern, Jacoby. I'm going to throw a theory out there that actually may become commonplace. You may look at the bottom of the ticker and see Woj tweet this. And by the way, big shout to Woj. He gave me a terrific um, going home present to represent my mom. And Jacoby, don't be surprised when all of the players participating in All-Star Weekend don't go to the league and say, okay, we understand we're off from the 5th to the 10th, but can we be off from the 5th through the 14th, which would be the following weekend after the All-Star festivities to create a longer break? And so when you ask me about LeBron's load, he played um, every game this season. He only had 71 days off after the Lakers won the championship. And I know his love for the game and his consistency throughout his career has been outstanding. And I'm now glad he also has embraced this role of not being a fan of low management. And in doing that, I know personally, he wants to send a message to the media and to the fans, to the other people in the league and as a parent, probably to his kids, that he shows up every day for work and he doesn't take days off. And in doing that, he's going to wear himself down. LeBron James looked tired in that basketball game. Yeah, he did. When you shoot the basketball and it hit the side of the rim and it go out of bounds, he did that on the left side of the rim. He did it on the right side of the rim. That's fatigue. That's exactly what that is. And Hachimura did a really good job defensing him. But again, LeBron James, we both know, will not keep up this level of minutes and still be as productive as he needs to be come playoff time. They will find a way to scale it back. The Phoenix Suns, low key, no one's really noticed, have won nine of 10 games. The latest was Dame and the Blazers. Booker had 34 points, Aiden contributed. What has been the key to this little streak for them? The number one key, is Monty Williams. See, when you're trying to build through the draft, and this is why Mark Jackson should be on a coaching staff of an elite team right now leading the squad. Mike, this is why Mark Jackson should be a head coach in the league because the Golden State Warriors were built through the draft, just like the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, you add CP3. Yeah, you add Crowder. But the core of their team, Bridges, Johnson, Ayton, the Booker, those are draft picks. You need a coaching staff. And shout out to my little brother, Willie Green, who's also on Monty's staff, doing a terrific job of developing those guys. So now, when they ball the way they did in the bubble, you can go get Chris Paul. And so when you make that move, they're now the fourth best record in the entire NBA. So big shout to their entire situation. James Jones, as the general manager, as well as Monty Williams and his player development, and then what we're seeing out on the floor from the team. 
Jalen, I have tomorrow night circled on my calendar because I'm going to have to stay up late again to watch the Lakers because they will be taking on the Jazz. The Jazz who made light work of we got my the jazz. little mellow ball we and got the, the Hornets. Jalen, what did the Jazz do last night to the Hornets? See, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys about the Utah Jazz. You know the speed that the Kansas City Chiefs have when you're watching mm -hmm. NFL football on Sundays? Well, that's how the Jazz rain threes in the current landscape of the NBA. They have multiple players shooting over 40%, and they can get hot with the best of them. So much so, their bench alone, Ingles, Clarkson, made 19 threes in the basketball game, Jacoby. Wow, that's wild. They made 19 threes in the basketball game. They have a superstar points. in Donovan Mitchell that's a go-to guy. And by the way, I'm going to point out something really funny that happened in the game because I'll be watching extremely close. Dominique Wilkins was a hot flyer, but he always jumped off two feet. Mm -hmm. For those that didn't know, 50-inch vertical. Never really seen Dominique dunk off one leg. Yesterday, I seen Donovan Mitchell dunk off one leg. I ain't never really seen him do that. I just got to point that out because he normally he goes in else. there. He did yeah. something else that we need to look at too because you know how James Harden be doing that like double step back three? Watch Donovan Mitchell here. Oh, one, oh, 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 okay, okay. Like I, I don't know if that's a, what do we call that? Crab driggle, gather step, like one, two, three, pivot, pivot again. You know what? When you got it going, that's how it looks. And I'm glad you brought out the balance of this team because look at how many players they had in double figures last night. Like there's so many, we could barely fit them all on on the screen everybody's contributing donovan mitchell's their leader with 23 but then you get 21 from ingles you get 21 from yang you get 20 from clarkson it's this is not one of those teams that's built on one or two pillar player scores and then a bunch of role players any one of these seven can score 20 at least on any given night and now